With the release of Ultimate Legends and Madden 19 Ultimate Team, we find ourselves in a very, very interesting situation. What happened now is all of my cards and all of your cards, depending on what uh, overalls you have, has lost its value. Let me explain what's going on. What I was doing was I was going through my lineup because I was looking to see what I can sell to kind of make some coins up. And um, I kind of stumbled on one of my 87s with LeBeau. And I clicked it to see, like, yo, what's the 87 going for, right? And I was like, oh, okay, let's see what it's going for. Oh, what, what is this about? You know what I'm saying? Like, everything right now is really, really wild. But I'm going to tell you how you can make the most out of the market crash in Madden 19 Ultimate Team right now. All right. So looking at what's going on, this 87 is at 17. Just a while ago before I actually started the video, he was at 15. So people have been buying up these 87s. Let me explain to you what's going to be happening because when you click on these cards, you can see, you know, obviously the training point value of the cards. You see what's going on with it. So that's 775 training. So pretty much for 150K, you could get 7,000 training. That's pretty much what's going on right now with 87s. And you might say, okay, so what does that mean, Jemai? What's going on? This is what it means. It pretty much means that you can use these, like this whole market crash, to upgrade some of the newer ledges that you have, or you can just simply wait and see what they do with elite tokens when people are going to need those cards. Because right now, there is no use for elite tokens. Um, you know, they just had it with the Super Bowl rings. Right now, they have some stupid... Um, some stupid set, I'm gonna show you what's going on that you should never ever do, cause it's dumb, and whatever you get is not gonna have any value. They pretty much put um, sets for you to be able to use tokens, four elite tokens, like for a 94 to 96 overall player, are you serious? Like when you go through all of these things and you start to see mathematically, it just doesn't make sense. So right now, there is no reason to be making tokens unless you're doing your daily objectives. All right, so now here's what most of you guys can do right now if you're interested in reserving and just being like a, a complete hoarder of training points. This is what you can do. You could go into the auction house right now, right? You can start to look and search by specific things. Um, recently, I was looking at the Mahomes to see what was going on with that, uh, seeing if any prices have changed, but people are still going crazy with his card. I'm just going to wait for Ultimate Legend with 99 throw power, but that's neither here nor there. So pretty much what you could do is this. You can go to 86 to 87. You can see what's up there, right? You can see like, okay, it's 17K. That's what you're showing there. Then you can start dabbling through uh, these things. You could go, um, you know, where's that other? The veterans are usually pretty reasonable. Let's see what they're at, 15. You see what I'm saying, 86 to 87s. Um, he's down, you know, you, you want to look for the cheapest version, even though we just saw the 87 is probably the ideal one because it's almost a thousand. So pretty much you could just add zero to it and know what you're going to do when you multiply it by 10, depending on like what you need for what you're doing. So even though it's 775 and we need another 225 to make it a thousand, you could just go ahead, like, you know, mathematically round it off to a thousand and know, be able to multiply to what you're going to have and then make up for whatever you have in your item binder, right? So because these cards are so cheap, you have to understand it's not out, bro. It's not a seller's market right now, bro. Like you can't be out here just selling your cards. You will go broke if you sell your cards right now, unless you did a pack opening and you have ultimate legends in your binder that you're trying to get rid of. You should not be selling your 87s for so cheap. I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna reserve. We're gonna reserve. We're gonna wait a little bit, right? And I'm gonna walk you through some of the things that I'm gonna be doing in my binder while the market is crashed. But I just wanted to point that out to you. Oh, also, if you look at um. The 97s for the Ultimate Legends. Hold on, let me just show you that too. It, it's it's a it's a very very good rate. They were going for like 400k earlier, um, and that the, those yeah like this yeah. Uh, where's the 97s Ultimate Legends? Yeah, this right here. This is actually a decent thing to do because they give you a a, a whole lot of training points. It's very very it's a lot of training points that you get from these cards. So you're gonna want to take a look at that and see if the value of it is worth it. Like, even with this kicker right here, right? This guy's a power-up. So, you know, regardless of what happens right now, when you look at his kick power, when he gets chemmed up, I think he goes up to, what, like a 97 kick power? That's pretty good um, for a kicker or whatever like that. But, again, right now, I'm not looking to do that because 
they're going to be releasing a lot more things as, you know, this is just the first weekend of Ultimate Legends. So these prices are going to be around this rate. It's not going to like raise up crazy. The, it really just destroyed the overall prices of the stuff that we were holding on to. But it's going to help a lot of people that are trying to, you know, like this card right here. You remember how much this card was going for? It was almost a million before this dropped. Because everybody was trying to get a special teams player for team of the year. So the Ultimate Legends actually helped a lot of us if we were able to hold off and wait for some of the cards. Now, if you're looking to get, you know, like a Bill Romanowski, these are very, very good prices. This guy, a, a, a Randall McDaniel. See, the, the, the only thing I will tell you guys, though, just be careful what you're investing in. Because, like, look, if I rush to get rid of this guy, let's just say I wanted to go ahead and get this guy. It wouldn't make any sense for me to get rid of Hutchinson right now because I know with his next upgrade, he's going to probably match that or be better than uh, Randall McDaniel. So it doesn't make any sense. I just want to make sure that you guys understand. You don't need to act right now. Sometimes patience is the best thing because... You can make up your coins. If you guys have been doing your solo battles, you've been playing Weekend League, now those coins amount to more. Now you don't have to be stupid like I always am and don't take the coins. Now you take the coins and then you go and buy stuff up and then you start to build up your training and build up everything like that. But as you go through everything, make sure you look throughout what you may have wanted in the past. Because like, look, put it like this, right? This 97, oh, where, where's Curse? Because it was a cheaper Curse up here. All right, somebody just bought it for 390. But look, we're going to find another one. Is that an Okay, that's Eddie George. That dude's trash. Um, let's go over to this one right here. Okay, now look. This is the situation, right? When you look at his card and you compare him, I have Khalil Mack over there. You see that? You see how their speeds and everything is the same, but Khalil Mack, obviously, he's chemmed up. He's like a 91 speed and everything. And then you could look at the power moves. You see that Khalil Mack is a little bit lacking in the finesse moves department, but we don't really care about that because block shedding is key. It would make no sense for us to get rid of Khalil Mack right now because his next card is going to probably make him a 99. So these are the things that I want you guys to understand. We're still building for the future, but if you if you need to get cheap training points right now, these are ideal. What is it like? It was, I think it's like 36,000. It's, it's some kind of weird number. It's a weird, like, it's, it's wild. You get, a, you get a lot of training points for those cards for those rates right now while the Ultimate Legend is like that. Also... With the code breaker pack that I saved, right, we're going to go ahead and take the 2,000 training points because these cards, these Nats, were quick selling for 2,000 rings, so you would only get half of that and it will be 1,000. So we're going to take the 2,000 training points and just call it a day. Just thank you, EA. All that thing that I went through with all those codes for 2,000 training points, we get rid of that. Now, also, cards that you need to continue to not, you know, like you want to you wanna depower them or power them down, you can go ahead and do that stuff also. Let me just explain what I'm talking about. The position, like, I had this card. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Um, he was a 92. Telvin Smith. I'm not going to be, a, I, I will have no use for him. Because with the way that my team is set up right now with Anthony Barr and uh, Lawrence Taylor, this guy doesn't, like, I have no use for him anymore. So it doesn't make any sense for me to hold on to him. So look. Right now, you can actually start to get rid of all the stuff that goes into any miscellaneous cards that you're not going to be building on in the future. Because those two slots are going to be held probably for eternity with Lawrence Taylor and Anthony Barr. All right? We're not going to be having Telvin Smith partying around and it ain't going to be a good time for this guy. So you're going to need to start getting rid of some of the stuff that you don't need while the market is like that. Keep yourself busy. You can also... Uh, do some of the exchange sets and try to get and try to pull power ups. Uh, primarily, like the 80 overall that's new for Calvin Johnson and others. You can do that, but I'm gonna urge you guys to be patient. All right, even though like it sounds weird, that I'm urging you to be patient because urge is like pushing you to do something. I want you to be calm and relaxed and understand that the value of your team right now is gonna be worth a lot more when they release something that you need elite tokens for. At this time right now, there is absolutely nothing that you need it for, so it doesn't really matter. Where's the other 90-something card that you got? I know it was a Nat, but where is it? Where? Because we have another version of him. Uh, okay, there it goes. Because this was the Master, remember? We got this um, during, you know, back when they had the other series or whatever, he was the Master, so we took the Nat version. So more than likely, that's 1,600 uh, training points that we're sitting on. We're not gonna need that anymore. So it's like a good time to go through your binder and look for cards that have power-ups. Like, this, this one right here, the 85 overall, this, this player right here, you see how he's still 14 and he's closer to what the 87 is? The only reason that his price is that high is because he's part of a power-up. So go through your cards and look to the icons 
because you're going to see that like the 87 and the legends, nobody really cares about the older legends because that we now know that we don't need the older legends in certain cases because of what they did with Calvin Johnson. But we don't know um, if that's going to remain. You remember what they did with Michael Vick uh, with the snow and then they didn't do the other one with the snow? They change it up. So you can hold on to it, you can sell it, you can see what's going on with it, but the values of a lot of these cards are going to increase. So you don't want to sell them for dirt cheap. For instance, Cam Newton. Regardless of what happens, you can see that people are still bidding on him at 19000 He's going to get a card that's going to be wild. His next card is going to be guaranteed 99 throw power. If they don't give him 99 throw power, that's crazy. Because they usually always do that when they release, you know, the new... Like Cam is... Because Cam... We know Cam has a big arm. So he's probably going to be a guy that's going to have 99 throw power. Will people pay more for that and not use the power up pass? It's possible. Um, Ryan Kerrigan. Cards that... Um, you know, people are going to be looking for, like, he, I think he was, a, he's also a team diamond, right? I believe he's a team diamond as well, uh, as well. So there, there are a lot of things that are going to come to, you know what I'm saying, uh, to be involved with a lot of the cards that you actually have in your binder. I just don't want you to get, like, to panic. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to panic because ser the next series is next week. They're releasing Series 5 next week. So everything that's going on right now is just for now. So like I said, it's a buyer's market. So buy, buy, buy the things that you think you're going to need and then just hold, you know, whether you're doing it for training points, you're stacking training, whatever, because you also see that with all the ultimate legends, like I have Calvin Johnson, Sean Taylor, I got Anthony Muniz. Listen, this is what happens. You're going to have to be spending thousands and thousands of training points before you add the final card. So you need to be able to, you know, sufficiently have them in your, you know, in your arsenal. So you can just be buying them up right now. If I needed to actually get training points right now, I would be actually spending, you know, spending, um, uh, uh, you know, my coins on it, trying to buy them. But I have so many of these cards, like the 87s and the stuff like that, that I can actually sell. So I'm just sitting on them because I'm sitting on at least like I have a lot of training. You can see right here. I have a lot of it, but I'm just waiting to see how everything plays out. So in the meantime, I can just dabble, you know, see what's going on, try to do a couple snipes here and there. Maybe somebody put something up for cheap etc etc but i don't want to start selling my cards for too cheap right now when i know that you know series five is right around the corner so again if you need to get training points right now is the ideal time but try to hold on to the cards that you have in your binder and just wait it out there's no rush as long as you got yourself a calvin johnson and you got yourself a sean taylor you know what i'm saying you're looking at these freaky stats like this bro like you're all set okay you you, you have to if you have those things right now in your arsenal these two these two guys right now the best cards in Madden Ultimate Team. So if you if that's something that you're focused on and you already have it, I would just sit patient and wait for them to release what they're going to release throughout the week because the prices will eventually go up. Not to say that all of them are going to go up crazy, but right now the market is just absolutely crashed. EA is going to recognize that and, and give us other things to do with some of the cards that we have like they always do. And that's when we'll be able to make a profit. And that's when I'll be right back at you to let you guys know exactly what we all should be doing at that time. I want to thank you guys for joining me. Make sure you let me know what glitchy thing you got out of this market crash so I can know that you guys are making some coins. I love to hear that you guys are coming up in the world, you know what I'm saying, of Madden Ultimate Team. Not in the real world, just in the world of Madden Ultimate Team. All right, guys, thank you guys for joining me. Please leave a like, subscribe, share. Check out G Myers World Gaming and G Myers World Podcast. Links are in the description box. Also to the Twitter and the Instagram. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. One love.